Here we're going to look at a slightly different example for polynomial long division. You'll notice that our constant term at the end of the div dividend is k. We are going to perform this long division in an effort to determine what k would have to be for the remainder to be zero. Now, fortunately for us, k doesn't appear until the end of the division, so we're going to be able to get through a lot of the heavy lifting before we even reach k and have any kind of concern of what k is going to be. So as always, we look at our lead terms. We look at 4x into 20x cubed. That's 5x squared. Multiplying 5x squared by 4x obviously gives 20x cubed. 5x, times, 5x squared times 3 is 15x squared. Subtracting that line eliminates the first term, leaves us with 8x squared, and then we bring down our 10x. Still have not reached the concern for k, which we will get to momentarily. 4x into 8x squared leaves us with a 2x. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. We're going to subtract that line, leaving us with negative 16x. And as we bring down our next part of the division, now we have reached k. If we attempted to do the division of negative 16x divided by 4x, we would get minus 4, or negative 4. Negative 4 times 4x, negative 16x. Negative 4 times 3, negative 12. At this point, our objective is pretty simple. We want the remainder to be 0. So as we subtract this final line from the line that actually has k, we have to give some thought to what would create a 0 there. Well, it's nothing with this. That's already done. So we're looking at k minus negative 12 needing to be 0. Well, quite obviously, then, k would have to be negative 12. So our original polynomial, if we wanted the remainder to be 0, would need to be everything that was there finished with a minus 12. 